How to set up Profile Manager by 318. To install Profile Manager in Lion Server, first open the server app and then click on Profile Manager. Here we see the Configure button. It is only present when Profile Manager actually needs to be set up and not subsequently. Once we click on the Configure button, the server will be scanned for the tasks that need to be performed in order to meet the Profile Manager requirements. In this case, if you notice, it asks us to configure network users and groups. This is akin to promoting it to an Open Directory Master. In order to promote to an Open Directory Master, we will supply Profile Manager with a username, a password, and a short name for that account name, as you can see here. Once we supply that information, we'll go ahead and click on the Next button. Then we'll be prompted to provide the minimum information for an SSL certificate the name of the organization, and the email address. Once provided, click Next, and then click Setup. The Open Directory Master is then created. At this point, it's worth noting that this process works really well if you're using a self-signed certificate. However, if you're using a third-party certificate, Open Directory Master will create a new certificate at the time that it's promoted to a master. Therefore, you would want to wait until after you've promoted to a master to generate a CSR, and so you would not want to use this wizard. Instead, you'd want to use server app to promote the open directory to a master and then generate the CSR and send it to your SSL certificate provider. It's also worth noting that before running this wizard in server app, you can click on the name of the server and then the settings tab in order to go ahead and set the APNS certificate and or the SSL certificate for the server for all of the services. Once you do so, the wizard will have fewer steps and will be quicker to complete. SSL certificates are one of the most important aspects of Profile Manager. At the next screen, you'll be prompted to select the appropriate SSL certificate. Here, at the drop-down list, select the certificate and then click on the Next button once you've chosen the appropriate certificate. The Profile Manager setup process then completes and you can click on the Finish button to close the window when prompted. At this point, this service has been configured, but it has not yet been started. So the only thing left to do at the main screen is to click on the On button. This will start the process, as well as start the website that users use both for enrollment and administrators use for administering the server. Back at the Profile Manager screen in the Server app, you'll have two options. One is for signing configuration profiles, which most people should probably check and the other is for the default configuration profile. In my experience, I haven't been a fan of the default configuration profile as it only leverages or automatically configures client devices for services that are run on, on the OS 10 server that's being used for Profile Manager. Once the service is started, you can use the server address slash my devices as a URL to enroll devices or you can use the server address slash profile manager as a URL for managing devices. Provided that either of these two sites, or preferably both, will load, then profile manager has been configured and is working. When enrolling clients, don't forget to install the trust profile before you install enrollment profiles. That's probably the number one issue that people call me about in regards to the problems that they may have with profile manager. And now that in less than five minutes you've got the core of your profile manager configuration set up, you have plenty of time to play with clients and test all your settings. My final word of advice is to test, test, test those settings. Measure twice, cut once, as always. So that's been Profile Manager by Charles Edge from 318. Have a great week.